Man, it's hot as hell in here in Florida, man. I got my ass pulled underneath the, this big old black cherry tree. It's about all the damn shade I got. But uh, nice big open sky out here. You know, good area to, to fly around, trick around with. You know. Hell, I even brought my old SEMA today. I hadn't flown this thing in God forever. But uh, I charged up a couple batteries before I left the house this morning. And just because a lot of my buddies fly their SEMAs on the Quad Father and uh, Rotocross, I thought I'd fly it around a little bit and try to get some videotape of it. Now, this is something. Come here, Jasper. Get you some water. This is something I, I did last night on this baby. You know, you're always trying to look for ways to improve your bird. And I did a couple things last night that I wanted to try. This is some really heavy-duty shrink wrap. It's really thick. And I put it as like a barrier board over, um, over the carbon fiber to try to get um, protect your battery more. And this is something new too here, uh, these antenna guides. Um, I had some 10 gauge real flexible wire and this tubing was really, really thick rubber. It's really boing. <laughs> so I cut a piece off last night and uh, I, I prop chopped an antenna yesterday. I just put these brand new tenna, antennas on here and I thought I would try this stuff instead of that shrink wrap tubing. Maybe it'd give it just a little bit more protection. So like I say, you're always trying to improve on ideas for your bird to keep it safe because you know, you fly these kind of birds, you know, you're going to have to do some regular maintenance on them. I mean, they're, the, the frames are solid. Uh, but like I say, you're going to have to do some maintenance on them from time right, to time. Why don't we go ahead and just fire up this SEMA first. You know, I ain't flown this bird in freaking forever. I tell you what, this is probably just about the best trainer out there. I mean, this thing is, this bird's got over two, three hundred flights. I don't even know if it still works. Let's see. Holy shit, the lights still come on. All right. I guess we got good batteries in here. Alright. Alright, let's try this thing, see what she does. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's doing pretty good. Still flies. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's old bird. And you know this bird always did have good range to it. Good range. Get under there! Woo! Who's hot dogging now? I love this old bird. <laughs> Ooh, hop in that fence. Oh yeah, I love this old bird, you know. You know, it's just like riding a bicycle. I guess you just really never forget. You know, you flew a bird for so long, you don't, you, you just don't never forget Man, how to I'm kind of just sitting here chilling out a minute, smoking a butt, and a horse come over here and decided he wanted to check us out. <laughs> Jasper, would you go see the horse? Go see him. Go see the horse. Crazy dog. Look at the horse. See him? 
Go say hi to him. That's pretty cool, man. The horse, he kind of likes quadcopter flying. Well, I like it too. <laughs> uh, that's why I like flying out here, guys. I mean, I love this place. It's a great little area to come out here and just chill out underneath the big plaque black cherry tree that's what this is it's a big old black cherry tree see these see these berries here they'll turn black they'll be big old black cherries you can't eat them though because they're they're poisonous yeah that's this choke cherry black cherry tree yeah country boy shit you know you, you know things like that but yeah, the horse is chilling out with Jasper over here. <laughs> you seen that horse? You seen him? <laughs> he ain't gonna hurt you. Just get your ass over here. All right. So we had a couple. Had a flight with that Sema. Maybe it's time to crank old Flash up here and uh, see how he's gonna do. Put the camera on him. I know this horse is probably going to spook off when I fire this thing up, so I was kind of just chilling out. Okay, guys, I think we got everything going here. Um, oh, you know, one other thing I wanted to mention. I got a bad uh, prop chop yesterday on this battery. And uh, what I thought I would do to give it a try, I got this Gorilla um, uh, duct tape. Shit's strong as hell. I thought I'd put a couple of wraps on each bat on each end of the battery and see if it would, you know, help protect it from uh, prop chop. You know, when you crash, you know, a lot of times you're gonna get it's gonna tear the shit out of your battery. So, you know, and if that makes contact with that carbon fiber, you know, man, you, you could have a serious friggin' fire, man. So, always protect your fiber against uh, carbon fiber here. All right, so we're anyway this carbon fiber that's on here. That's one of another reasons I put that 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 big rubber shrink wrap on the carbon fiber to protect it with that because I'm worried about friggin' fires here. All right, let's plug her in. Oh yeah, uh, video camera is on. Let's get the transmitter going here. Let's do a let's do a quick check here. Well, everything looks good. All right, let's take her for a flight. Need to trim it a little bit. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, let's take her out there. to go now <laughs> get warmed up a little bit here Go down there and see Mr. Ed. Fly around the farm here a little bit. Let's get warmed up. Good sleeping turn here. Ah, let's see if we can.
can do here. Say, if you get in trouble, just put it back in the balance mode, you know. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Too close to the ground. There goes my camera. Oh shit! Yeah. No harm done. Oh, I lost my lens cover. Damn it! So uh, let me see. Oh, that lens. Oh, there it is. There would be the lens cover. You know, I would say, you know, I should probably should super glue this thing. You know, this E-Action camera, man, this, this bitch has been through hell. And I just pop the lens cap back on it. And what this thing will do, make sure you get this if you get one of these E cameras, because this cover here is going to protect this lens and crashes. That is a friggin' must. And these things are only about 3 or $4 a piece. So, you know. All right, let's see if we've done any damage to the bird here you know we look pretty good uh but been a prop you know something about these dal props man just straighten that bitch back and she's good to go look at these over here good to go that's how you want to look at your props you want to make sure your props lined up perfectly i got there all right that one's good all right all right that one's good that one's good, and that one's good. See, DAL props, man. Let me go put this camera back on, and uh... well, I'm putting the uh, camera back on flash over here at the table. Let's get a look at this crash with the E action camera. Got a fresh battery on there. Got the E action camera back on and it's recording. All right, this will be flight number three, you guys. Do a quick prop check. Right, everything looks good. All right, this time I'm gonna do a, I think I'm gonna do a range test on this as soon as I get this thing trimmed. Right, looks pretty good. Uh, let's see. You always want to fly into the wind if you can, you know. You know, so let's. Even though that was a pretty badass crash, um, I did minimal damage. I did bust an LED light. <laughs> oh shit! Well, shit happens. All right, so we're gonna take her up here. 
flies much better without this camera anyway on there. It really does. I mean, it's a totally different bird when the camera's off there. Oh, yeah. Hey, we're, we're done filming for today. Oh, yeah. This is my zippy little bird. Yeah, without that camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I try to get that one more loop in there, you know. What the hell? And I'm trying, you know, different shit. I think we're fine here. But I didn't even bend the prop. Nah, we're good. Check. Yep. Alright, let's plug her back in. Bound, determined, get the. That's the way you're supposed to do it. That's the way you're freaking supposed to do it. I guess because I had such a good flying day yesterday, you know. Yeah. I tell you, these are tough little birds. I love them. I mean, you can put these things through hell.
Ooh. Whack! <laughs> hey, if you ain't crashing, you ain't flying. So, I didn't take too hard a hit. I smacked it pretty good. But uh, that's what these the birds are designed for. I tell you, you know what, Kira 250 couldn't take this pounding. Ain't no fucking way. Uh, we look good. Uh, we've been a prop. Other than that, we fix her up here. We knocked an LED light off of it. I mean, it's still attached. Probably blew the bulb. Ain't no telling. We still got one good one here. We got one good one on the back. We already busted this one earlier. <laughs> I put this old bird through hell. But I tell you what, that bitch keeps flying. What you doing, Jasper? What you doing, boy? You a happy boy? Yeah, he's a happy boy. Happy boy. Happy boy. I'm about to lose my damn shade over here. Okay, guys, another quick battery change. And we started up, uh, put a new battery pack on her. I tell you what, these some tough-ass birds I build, man. Uh, I'm, I'm really proud of them, and I try to make them better all the damn time you know I really do but the, it, it's the frame you know it's the frame any uh, any of these commercial quadcopters you got out there guys uh, don't be fooled by them because it's not real carbon fiber like the Wakira and all these other ones are selling out there online it's not real carbon fiber all they do is they laminate uh, a, a laminate over fiberglass. It looks like carbon fiber, but it's not. It's 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 just a tiny thin sheet that's uh, <coughs> over fiberglass. And if it takes a good hit, I mean, I've completely snapped one in half on a crash similar as I've I've, I've had out here today. So it, it, if you are going to get into these racing copters. You know, uh, it, it, to build one yourself, but get a full carbon fiber frame. You know, that's what you want to deal with. At least three, four millimeters, I think, is a little overkill, and it's pretty pricey. And uh, but a three mil kit that I do, or you can just buy the kit yourself. You know, you can get in the air for about 150 bucks. And you don't have to worry about crashing. Because once you understand that, oh, I don't have to worry about crashing, um, then you, your, your world's just going to open up for you. As far as getting out here and flying around and trying to learn tricks and stuff. Because if you try to do it with these commercial quadcopters, um, it's just not, not going to work out for you. It's just a money pit. And here we straightened up the props a little bit. And we should be ready for another flight. Let's plug this thing in. I only got one LED light now in the back, but that's all right. We don't need all that. Just one is fine. Just when you do break a wire, make sure you you clip it off with your clipper so it doesn't make any contact with the um, carbon fiber. Okay. Let's do a prop test. All right, here we go. I think this is flight number five or six, I don't know. Let's see if we can buzz around these trees a little bit. Coming in hot.
I love these big whiny sleeping turns. Fish is up there. Bring her back now. I better get all this, guys. Hope I got my cam on here, right? Now that was a good one. That was a good fucking slammer right there. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, now this is live action. Live action. The quadcopter is intact. All the props are intact. Hopefully there's no other damage. So we're going to check it out. Uh, looks good. Props are good. Oh, got a bit one right here. I right, gotta fix that, guys. Give me a break here. Now that's what I call a slam. Boy, that copter took a hell of a hit. But I tell you what, guys, this thing we bent my. I tell you, these rubber things now I'm using, they they really, really are doing good. Um, had a this prop here got bent, but I had to get it straightened out but hey we're ready to go again guys how's that fucking right i built a good quad man <laughs> all right let's get this baby in there again all right here we go hopefully oh yeah oh yeah get your ass off the ground son I think I'm recording here. Hard to fucking tell. Yeah, it's recording. Damn, quads over there drifting off.
Tell you what, after a smack like that, you are here, boys, and you commercial quadcopters, y'all been fucking crying. Oh, my quads tore up. I gotta spend another seventy dollars on fucking parts. But hey, look at this bitch. It's back. It's flying after an epic crash like that. And not only is it flying, it is freaking getting it. Oh yeah. Coming in hot. Beautiful day out here today, guys. Buzzing the flowers. Watch out for that electric fence. I don't want to hit that bitch. Stall. It's stalling. It's stalling. It's stalling. Not. Tough little bird, man. Tough bird. Tough little bird has got a dead battery. Gotta get this bitch on the ground. Alright. Let's go change these batteries. You know, on these quads, I don't have a V bat, but these these uh, LED lights, these seven ones, when those things go to dimming, when you hit the throttle, you're you're at usually 10:45 to 11 volts, and when that goes on, you want to bring it in and change the battery. You know, I mean that's the way I've always done it. Uh, like I say, if you see these LED lights are dim when you when you hit the throttle good, you're you 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 need to change the battery. This is flight number seven. We got the battery changed, and we're ready to rock and roll. Should get going now. I like to eat that bitch. <laughs> Gotta watch the 420. A little too much 420 here.
ver si quiere, ¿no? a close one. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, hey. Look at there. Ain't shit wrong with that bitch. Alright. Let's get a battery adjustment check these props and we'll be back in the air in just a second. Hey, I bet you guys were thinking a minute ago that fucking guy's gonna eat that quad. Almost ate that bitch. But anyway, just a little bit of uh, of uh, pop, prop straightening out. I tell you, these damn DAL props are the bomb. I love these bullnose DALs, man. You can bend them up, take a couple minutes, get them straightened out, man. They're ready to fly. Fucking Mr. Ed out there getting some grass. Look at this sorry ass dog. Kind of like an old blue tick hound, like to lay around in the shade. I ain't got much money, but a damn sure got it made. Hey man, y'all know that song. Alright, so let's get this bitch back up in the air. And I'll try not to smack my ass this time. <laughs> that was a close call. But, uh, I mean, you know it's a lot safer if you fly it way out in front of you. But I like that up close and personal, you know. Sometimes, you know, sometimes. So, let's see how it goes. You know, after all these crashes you guys seen today, you know, these birds. <laughs> Especially if you guys fly the 250s or something like that. You know your ass is be done gone to the house. And she's gone. I love this bird. I really do. I put it through hell. But you know, you gotta love your bird, man. If you don't love your bird, i tell you what, the bitch will fall out of the sky every time. Get out here with a little bit of softer grass. Is.
It should drop like a rock too. That's manual. See, even I put it back in balance mode. Wake up, Jasper. Fucking dog. I'm at mine. That twisting roll is kind of, it's kind of tough to pull out of it sometimes, and that was my bad. So anyway, should be able to get right back in there. Not a bit of damage. Shit, battery well, didn't guys, come off. My hat cam has died, and uh, I guess we're just gonna call it a day. I mean, I had two more packs left, but. You know, I ain't got no more battery power left in my camera, so I guess I can't show you nothing else no more today. But if if I've shown you anything today, guys, I mean, stay away from those commercial birds because they're just going to fall to pieces on you. You know, get you a quad, and, and you know, it's, it can take some damage, you know. And you've seen today out here, you know, over here, Mr. Ed even uh, says it's friggin' cool. Um, that these quads are well built you know you either have me build you one or build it yourself but this is the way you want to go